Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn one more concept of display file and we'll see how to create the prompt field in display file. Okay, so first of all, I will show you the program output and then we will design that. So here I'm calling the program prompt R. So it will look like this. So here we have one header, uh, which is just for the introduction purpose. And after that, we have this field which is a protected field. So I can't write anything here directly because this is a protected area. So here I have created that prompt field. It means like whenever I take F4 here on this field, you have to put your cursor here and then press F4. So once you press F4, it will show you this kind of window. Okay. And from the, there, if I select option one and press F12, then it will select the city as Mumbai. Okay. Similarly, if I go for the any another option, then it will select that. Let's say if I select J uh, three for Jaipur, then it will select the Jaipur. So this is how we can create the prompt window or prompt option. So now we'll discuss how to design this. So to design this, firstly I will show you the display design uh, part. Then we will discuss on the program how to use that display file. So firstly, let's go through the display file part. So take option 17. Then you can see there are two types of record. One is normal record and another one is a window. Here the type is window. So firstly, we will see the record. So take 12 option. So here we have designed the screen. So this is normal the text part. If you want to keep any text, so just put quote, then your text and then quote end and hit enter so it will be stored here okay so similarly i have stored this texture myth and if you want to change its color put c and then w overlapping with t and hit enter so it will convert it to white and other ways take asterisk hit enter and from colors option you can select any color you want to assign to this so let's say i will remove one from white and make it as a one for red and hit enter. So this time this field is changed to red. Similarly, I have created this text by changing its color to red. Okay. For now, I'm deleting it. This is similar same uh, type. We can uh, declare this string also. And this is my field. So to specify the field name, I'm putting here question mark and hit enter. So this is my city name so here i have put city so whenever i want to access this field i will use this city name and this is a both mode field okay and if i press uh, put asterisk and hit enter then you can see the attributes that i have set here which is protected it means like user can't write anything directly here on this field uh, it is only for the prompt purpose so this is the only thing that we have specified here and this is the text I have put here for F3 for exit so that user can understand that we have to press F3 for exit. Apart from this, we have set few indicators here. So by taking option eight, you can go to this indicator keyword and here I have specified these two indicator CF03 for exit and CF04 for prompt. So whenever user press here, uh, CF4 means function key four, it will open the prompt. Fine. Next thing we have designed, which will came when we, uh, whenever we take option F4. So this is how we design the window. So to design the window, you have to specify, you have to take option. Firstly, you need to create uh, one record of type window. So how you will do this? Take one, then yeah, test, hit enter. Here in the type, you can select window and then hit enter okay so once it is selected then you have to select the keywords and record keywords so take y then here you have to select the parameter y hit enter so here we need to specify the size of the window suppose i want to create this size window so what i will do i will select this position so if i put my cursor here it will show me the location uh, position 8 and 19 so i want to start it from 8 then second thing actual position you have to specify this then window lines window position okay so these things you can 
output and you can change it as per your requirement like if the size is increases then you can reduce it and window lines window lines like it will start from here okay and likewise you can select any option uh, i will show you in the original uh, window that we have designed here so i'm deleting this test purpose window and this is the one which we are using to we are taking 12 so this is the window right so how how the position is uh, decided for this so if i put place my cursor here so it is 715 okay so take off 12 then take option 8 y then y here 715 okay so it is start from 7 and 15 position so if i place my cursor exactly at the 7 and 15 then this is the position okay so that's how we have specified this and window lines means like how many lines you want to keep in your window like the uh, height and position is the width okay so after deciding all these things uh, your window will look like this so as per your uh, requirement you can change the parameters and design your window here in the window i have written the same text like uh, the same way we have written in the main record uh, inside the code you can put the text so these all are the text this is my input field of both type here and i have assigned the name it as a choice okay so here user will enter the choice and then we will make use of it by taking option 8 here in overlay I have set uh, this is the indicator I have set here so you have 12 and overlay so you need to specify this uh, overlay option as Y otherwise it will not be able to we will not be able to uh, pop, show the screen above the previous screen so this is the things that we need to include here uh, uh, while designing this uh, display file and after this once your display file is created you have to compile it and then make some changes in source so what we are need to uh, change here is like you can do this uh, by in option 17 also but it is always better to keep these lines inside the main source because we need to specify a few things here so here you can take uh, these are the things that we need to specify for the field selection okay so suppose if i take prompt uh, f4 instead of uh, the input field i will i'm pressing f4 on some other place then it uh, we will not be able to understand like program will not be able to understand uh, do we need to populate the prompt or not so to specify that what we do we keep these lines here so we need to specify this function so press f4 here so after your indicator or uh, declaration you can take f4 and inside the functions you have to write here rtn csr loc which, which means return cursor location so it will provide you the cursor location exact cursor, cursor location and there it will take three arguments rcd fld and pos which means record field name record and position and once these thing uh, this function is defined below to that you have to de declare these three fields and the length and type should be same 10 a 10 if h for rcd and for position it should be 4 s 0 h okay so by taking f4 you can put the information like that pos in name length 4 data type s decimal position 0 and h now so after designing you have to keep these line inside your uh, sub file okay so once these file uh, these fields are defined inside the uh, your uh, display file then you will be able to track or trace your exact cursor location so now display file part is completed I am compiling it now we will see the program so program is quite simple what we are doing here we are writing the code in fully free format we have a specified control option then we are declaring the uh, display file that we are going to use which is prompt d so you have to declare in that way dclf then display file name and keyword workstation means workstation now below to that we are running one loop till the 
IN03 is off because whenever user press uh, function KF3, it will turn on this indicator and it will came out of the loop. So we will keep it show until or unless um, the IN03 is off. Now after that, we are showing the main screen. So EXFMT is main screen. It is not a pop-up window, it is a screen. And in the screen, we are checking if FLD is city. So what is this FLD? It came from the changes that we have modified in the display file source by taking option two. So it comes from the return cursor location. So if we have, uh, if we have uh, put the cursor on this exactly this field, then only it will populate the win uh, window. But there are two conditions we are checking here. First thing, the field should be city. And second thing, F4 should be taken. It means F4 should be pressed. If both conditions are true, then we are uh, running uh, one more loop uh, till the IN12 is off. Because if user has pressed F4 on the pop-up window, then it should uh, be closed. But if it is not off, then we are showing this pop-up window. And below to that, we are running one, uh, we are executing one subroutine. So why we are uh, running this because to decide the uh, selection. So this we will uh, discuss after completing the source, like what we have stored inside this uh, subroutine. And then we are doing it and do, and we are setting the indicator IN012. Why we are setting it? Suppose one time window came and you have pressed F12, then it means it is turned on, but it will keep turned on until or unless you turn, uh, turn it off. So that's where we are turning it off so that next time whenever user want to take F4, so it should show the screen. And then we are doing and if and do and setting the star INLR equals to star on. Now we will discuss about the routine. So in routine, we are uh, writing the routine beg SR select city. This is my subroutine name. In this, we are using select one to select the choice and we are checking when choice is one, it means whenever user press one, then it uh, in city field we are assigning Mumbai similarly if choice is 2 we are assigning Delhi uh, for 3 Jaipur and for 4 Indore and in other we are setting invalid city so if we haven't select anything then it will show invalid and then we are doing and SR yeah. so, and this is the routine we are uh, executing here okay, so mainly what we are doing we are this the main screen then we are checking one condition if field is city and IN04 is on then only show the window so this is the logic thing that you can create as per your requirement but main thing is uh, you should know about the return cursor location function so that you can utilize it now I'm calling it so this is my pointer suppose I am pressing my F4, uh, placing my cursor here and pressing F4, then it should not show any window because we have specified the condition like if the field is city. So this is the, this field name is city. We have specified in uh, when we press up uh, option 17, then we give the name to this field. And if the cursor is on this field and we have press F4, then only it will show this window. And if I take any other option apart from one, two, three, four, then it will show invalid city and if i select the correct one let's say i select three then it should show the valid city okay. so this is how we can utilize uh, the written cursor uh, location function so here from here this is the fld name from which we identify like where uh, our cursor is and if i talk about the field name then you, we have specified it here so here you can put cursor, sorry, the question mark, and you can see that the fit, uh, field name is city. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this session. And this is how we can create the uh, prompt field in display file. So yeah, that's it. In the upcoming session, we will learn a few more things. So thank you for watching TechShare